Now, you might have tried to start a YouTube channel yourself and you see all those big YouTubers making so many videos a week. And when you try to make one video a week, it seems like it's not doable. You have to script the video, you have to edit the video, you have to shoot the video, you have to do all of that stuff. You have to do a thumbnail, you have to edit the thumbnail, find the idea for the video. How come it seems so easy for other people to do it, but you can't do it yourself? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you that those big YouTubers that you see on YouTube, they're not making the video themselves. And that, my friend, is why you're going wrong. All those big YouTubers have teams behind them. And I'm going to show you that you don't have to be rich to have a team behind you to help you build your own YouTube channel. I'm going to show you step by step what you have to do from A to Z to build a profitable YouTube business. And this is not clickbait. I'm going to show you how you can find people to work with for cheap and that can get the job done. I'm going to find where you can find them. I'm going to find how you find them, what you have to say to them, how to automate your YouTube business and leave you with the creative and fun part of making videos. So obviously the first step that you need to take is to be able to create your YouTube channel and set it up for success. So to make this video easier to navigate, if you've already done one of the steps that I'm going to be showing you right now, all you have to do is go down in the timeline of the video. I'm going to leave the timestamps of each thing that you have to do. So if you have already done something then you can easily navigate the video and skip through the parts that you don't want to see and go directly to the parts that you need to see. And since I want to make this video easy for beginners to navigate, as well. I'm going to teach start from the beginning and the beginning is creating your own YouTube channel. Now, the first thing that you have to do to create your YouTube channel is obviously to go into a web browser and search for youtube.com. I'm going to use an incognito tab, which is a anonymous tab because I already have a YouTube account. And if I go into my normal browser, it's all it's going to take me to my YouTube account and I want to show you how you can create one. So you want to go to youtube.com. You want to click sign in at the top right corner. And then you want to create your own Google account. If you don't have a, a Google Gmail or Google account, you can just create one create an account right here. All you need is your name, a email address that you're going to create right now and a password. And that is it. You're good to go. Once you've done that, then you're probably going to be taken to a page like this one. And once you're redirected to a page like this one, what you want to do is you want to go to your channel, click this, click your, you won't have your picture here on the top right corner. As I have, your channel will probably look blank, but what you want to do is you want to click customize channel. And this is how you set your channel up for success. Okay. After you create your channel, what you want to do is you won't have any of these videos yet, but you can add the sections. What I advise you to do is to select a popular uploads and some of your playlists to show up when people visit your channel for the first time, or even when they come back to your channel. Okay. You can choose the video that they're going to see when they come back to your channel. It's all up to you you can choose a video that suits you best. So this is my layout for my channel. You can just copy it if you want. You want to go into branding and what you want to do, which is very important. If you want to get subscribers, you need to be presentable. And when people go into your YouTube channel, what they want to see is if you have a profile picture, if you have good videos, if you have a lot of videos, if you have uh, a banner image and something else that, varies, that is very important as well for you to set up is this video watermark. What this does is when people are watching your videos, they, they're going to see your watermark on the right corner. And when they hover the mouse over it, as you can see here, it's going to show them the button to subscribe as you're seeing right now. So they can easily subscribe to your channel. And this makes it a lot more likely that people are going to subscribe to your channel. So you obviously want to add that. You're not going to have some of these options here that you're seeing right now. These options here are some of the Google Chrome extensions that I have on my browser, which are vidIQ, Keywords Everywhere, and TubeBuddy, which I use for absolutely everything. I've just released a video here on the channel a few days ago showing how you can build your own YouTube video from start to finish. And in that video, I show you guys some of the ways that I use TubeBuddy. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I use TubeBuddy for a lot more than just, you know, finding titles in hashtags for my videos. So now that you know the importance of the video watermark, you definitely want to add one. If you guys want, you can just leave it down in the comments and I'll leave a link for you to download a YouTube watermark just like this one. Subscribe without a background. Okay, so now that you've done that, you want to go to basic information and on basic information, you want to add a description for your channel. So on my channel, it's pretty simple. I help people make money online. I'm you know, going to change this pretty, pretty soon because my channel is evolving to something else right now. I'm trying to teach people to build businesses online, make money online. And I'm also going to start making business documentaries here on the channel. And so I'm going to change my description pretty, pretty soon. So keep an eye out for that. If you want to see more of that, just subscribe to the channel. If you want to learn how to make 
make money online, if you want to learn about businesses, business strategies, how to build actual businesses online, these things that I'm showing here on my channel are things that people charge thousands of dollars to teach on the internet. And I'm bringing this video for you for free. Aside from the costs that I've paid to learn all of this information, the time that I took to learn all of this information, I also have lots and lots of costs paying editors and my whole team to bring this content for you for free. So I would highly, highly appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. You can always unsubscribe later if you regret it, which I think you are going to love it. And let's continue with the video. Now, once you add your description of the video, I highly suggest that you put your contact details if people want to get in touch with you for some YouTube sponsorships or partnerships, whatever they want to talk to you about. If they have a problem with your channel, they can also contact you via this email. Now, the next thing that you want to do is you want to go to settings and you want to set your default units depending on the country that you're on right now. You want to set it to the currency that you're going to be re receiving money. Possibly if you get into the YouTube partnership, uh, you want to set where you are, the country of residency to your channel, advanced settings. You want to set it that is not for kids, or if it is, you want to set that it is feature eligibility. You want to confirm that you are a real person. And the way that you do this is you confirm your phone number. You just go into this part right here and you send them or your valid ID, or you can answer a text message. Okay. After that, you want to go to upload defaults. And what this is, is every time you post a video to YouTube, this is going to be your default description of the video. So you don't have to keep typing it in every single video that you upload. It's good that you come here and set your default description of the video. My visibility when I post a video, it's automatically unlisted until I turn it public. Um, if you want to add your channel tags, I just add my own name, Mr. Reese advanced settings. I don't think you, you need to mess with this monetization. You just set your monetization defaults, how you want your ads to appear on your videos. If you're not in a YouTube partner program, you probably won't see this, but if you are, then you can just set this up as well on community. You can set some filters for your channel. All of this is people that are banned from my channel. Uh, as you guys can see, most of them are just bots. They come into my channel and they spam like links to try to scam my audience. And I just, you know, block them from the channel. And that is it. Created demographics. They're here. You can do the survey if you want. Agreements is nothing much. All right, that's it for this part. Now you want to go to playlists and you want to set specific playlists. Why do you want to do this? Because when you set up your channel, there are going to be multiple people interested in different topics coming into your channel. And if you have playlists that people can browse through, it's going to make it much more likely that people are going to watch all of your videos because you can just give them in a silver platter the type of content that they're looking for. So playlists are very useful. Don't underestimate playlists. Now, the second thing that you need to do is find your niche. And if you haven't decided your niche yet, I'm going to be posting a video in about two days on how you can find your niche. I'm going to give you a spreadsheet, everything. I'm going to make it like the easiest thing that you could do possible. I'm trying to make this process the easiest that I can for you guys. So I'm going to be releasing a video that shows you how you can find your niche in a very, very easy way. So keep an eye out for that one as well. Now, if you haven't, let me just give you a quick hint right here. You need to figure out what niche you're going to be posting in. If you're going to be posting in a finance niche, if you're going to do gaming videos, what kind of videos are you going to be posting in your niche? Niche is just a fancy word to what kind of, what type of content are you going to be posting? Who is your audience? Who's going to be watching your videos? What kind of videos are going to be, are you going to be posting for them to watch? So you want to sort this out because you don't want to post videos one week. You want to post videos about cars and then the next week you want to post videos about travel and the next week you want to post a video about gaming and then the next video you want to post a vlog video that's going to mess up your channel and if you think about it when people come to your channel they come because they liked a certain type of content how are you going to attract a certain audience to subscribe to your channel if they come to your channel and they see 20 different videos in 20 different topics when if you make videos about finance what a certain person that's interested in finance when they go to your channel they're going to see that finance channel and they're going to probably subscribe to it if they like your content but if they go into your channel and they see several different topics they're just going to leave so you need to figure out what niche that you're going to be posting in to be successful with youtube and this is a mistake that i see all across the board with many youtube channels that don't succeed in youtube now another thing that is crucial that you do is set a content calendar and a content calendar is just a calendar in which you are going to set the dates for the videos that you're going to be posting and you need to be able to stick to this calendar if you want to start with one video a week that is fine, but you have to stick to one video a week. You can't skip weeks. No, just this week. It isn't fine. If you do that, you're not going to grow on YouTube. And if you're really serious about YouTube and you want to post two or three videos a week, then I absolutely encourage you to do that. 
if it does not compromise on the quality of your video. So how do you know when you should post your videos? How do you know which days of the week that you should post your videos? Well, I would start posting if you're doing one video a week, Mondays, if you're doing two Mondays and Wednesdays, if you're doing three Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, let's say. This is not set in stone. It's just my personal strategy. And once you, st you start posting videos and you start getting subscribers, YouTube is going to show you when your audience is online. So you have to adjust your video posting to when your audience is online. And why do you have to do that? Because YouTube is a game of momentum. You need to be getting that momentum. And the way you do that is to post your videos when your audience is most active on YouTube. So you get the most clicks right when you post, which makes the algorithm much more likely to promote your video to other people. So that is why you have to set your content calendar. You need to stick to it and you need to be consistent. So right now for me, it is Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I post three videos a week and that is my schedule. Now, the next step you have to take is you need to build your routine. And what do I mean by this? Well, what I mean by this is you need to figure out if you want to treat YouTube like a business, you need to set a specific date that you're going to be recording the video, the specific date that you're going to be scripting the video, the specific date that you're going to be editing the video if you're going to do it yourself, which I highly do not recommend that you do yourself because it is a waste of time, money and also resources overall. And if you're not a professional video editor, then you're probably not going to do the best job in the world. And I'm going to tell you that YouTube is something that requires one of two things. You need to be a very good and charismatic person or you need to have great editing. One of the two you need to have to have great editing. You need to outsource your editing. If you earn more than $10 an hour, then it's absolutely crucial that you outsource your editing to someone that can do it much better than you, much faster than you and leave you to the creative part, which is creating videos and coming up with ideas. And remember, if you want to learn more in depth about all of this that I'm talking about in this video, you can just check out my course. It's going to be the link in the description of this video. And in there, I have full tutorials teaching from A to Z how you can do each step of this. I'm going to show you. And I'm also in the Discord server answering questions at least once a day. So it's kind of like having a personal coach with you for 49 bucks a month. Now, personally, I started editing my videos myself, but as soon as I saw how long it was taking me to edit the videos, I quickly outsourced my videos. And right now I'm going to share my own routine with you so you can understand what I mean when I say build a routine. When I say build a routine, I mean, choose a date to record the videos. Right now I build my videos. I choose the idea. I find the hashtags, tags, the titles for the video. I make the thumbnails, but I don't edit them. And I also script my videos, which I don't script them word for word anymore because I kind of got used to using bullet points. If you're a complete beginner, then I highly recommend you to start uh, scripting the whole video, but that takes a lot and a lot, a lot of time. And I highly recommend you to in time switch into bullet point scripts. And that is because if you know what you're talking about, then it is much easier for you to read a bullet point script and just talk from the heart, from what you know, from your experience, from your knowledge, than it is to read a script word for word. So my routine is the following. Every Saturday, I sit down in the morning and I write the scripts for my short form videos, which I post 21 every single week. I post three YouTube shorts a day and I post three long form videos every single week. So every Saturday I sit and I write 21 short scripts. And then on the afternoon, I record those same scripts. After I've done that, I send it to my video editor and he edits them for me. And then he sends it back to me and I upload it to my channel. And when I do that, TubeBuddy, which is the Chrome extension I was talking about, turns all of my videos into public at the right date and at the right time. So I don't even have to keep doing it myself. And after I've done that on the Sundays, I sit down in the morning and I write the scripts, find the ideas, find the hashtags, find the tags for all of my free long form YouTube videos for the week. And I write the script bullet points for those videos. And on the afternoon, what I do is I sit down like I'm doing right now and I record all three videos for that week. And in the beginning, it's going to be hard for you to do so many videos and you don't have to start doing 25 videos every single week like I do. You can just start doing one short video every single day and one long video a week. That's going to be enough to get your channel kickstart from the ground. But if you really want to grow your channel, I highly, highly recommend that you post at least three videos a week. If you want to jumpstart your channel, you need to be posting a lot of videos a week, but only if it doesn't compromise 
the quality of your videos. So if you have to do one video a week for a month or two, just to get your ball rolling, I highly suggest that you do that. But as soon as you get a little bit comfortable making videos, writing the scripts, doing all of the other stuff and outsourcing the editing to someone else, I highly recommend that you do more than one video a week. And the reason why I do so many short videos is because right now there's a huge organic traffic on YouTube, TikTok and Instagram that if you post short form content, the organic reach is going to be crazy. So that makes my channel grow faster overall, which I highly recommend that you guys do also. All right, so that's all great and good, but how do you get ideas for to make the, all those videos? How do you get ideas to make videos every single week? How am I supposed to come up with topics? How am I supposed to come up with scripts? How am I supposed to come up with all that? Well, there are a lot of ways that you can do that. It seems harder than it actually is. And the way you do that, one of the few ways that I like to do is if you haven't watched my video on how to build a YouTube video, go watch it right now. I'm going to place it somewhere here on the screen. You can just click and watch it or you can just finish this video and then go watch that one. It's totally fine. But some of the ways that I do to find a video, I show on that other video. And for you to find ideas for your videos, I'm also going to post a video this week showing exactly in depth how you can do that. So keep an eye out for that one as well if you want to build your YouTube channel. But I'm not going to go into depth on this video on how to find ideas because that is a whole video by itself and you can just go into the other two videos that I have posted on that same topic and watch them instead. So let's jump into the next one. Now, after you've found the type of videos that you want to be making, the ideas, everything, and how do you actually build your team? How do you build a team to work with you on this YouTube journey? How do you build trust? How can you trust to pay people over the internet? How do you know if they're good? How do you find them? How do you apply? How do you contact them to work with you? I'm going to teach you right now how you can do all of those things. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open a search tab and you want to go to two websites, one of them being upwork.com. This is the website that you're going to be using to find your video editors. So once you open your browser, type in upwork.com and it's going to take you to this website. All you have to do is to get access to the website is just create a free account. It's absolutely free to do. You don't have to pay to create an account on this website. Uh, they might ask you to confirm your identity to show that you're a real human being, a real person. And once you're in the website, it's going to show you this screen right here. What you have to do is you want to click search and you want to type in video editor and you want to click enter. Once you do that, it's going to show you results for the type of editors that you want to find. And how do you find a good video editor? Don't be scared by these prices because you can easily negotiate uh, prices with good editors. And if you want to start with a more cheaper one, that's no problem. But if you want to find the highest quality possible, I highly suggest that you do this. If you're low on the low budget, then you can just find a rising talented or a top rated video editor for your channel. But why would you want the best one for your channel, even if it's expensive? Right at the start, it might not make really sense for you. Once you start making videos, you're going to quickly notice that if you keep using a bad quality editor, they are going to keep charging you week in, week out, and you're not going to be making any profit. And that's because the videos that you're going to be posting are not going to get views. And 50% of your video, maybe even more than that, is decided by the actual editing. You might have a bad video. If you have a good video editor, he can turn that video into a good video. He can make it engaging, fun, and cool to watch. And that is going to, to be the break or make of your video to decide if you're going to get a lot of views, a lot of subscribers, and eventually to make money with your videos. In the beginning, it can be kind of hard because you're not going to be monetized in YouTube before you hit that 1000 subscribers, 4000 watch time. But as soon as you hit that, you're going to see quickly that you can make a certain amount of money per video that you post. And it's going to make sense for you to go with the best video editor, even if he charges you more because he's going to be able to get you more views overall on your channel. And the more views you get, the more money subscribers, the more growth you get, and the more you're able to pay your video editor. But if you're not getting that view, those views, if you're not getting those subscribers, then you're not going to be making any money and potentially you're going to be making a loss on your YouTube channel. So that's why it's so important to get a good video editor. So what I do to find good video editors, I just click here on top rated plus. After that, I just search through the video editors. So I'm just gonna explain to you really quick what you're seeing here. So what you're seeing here is the name of the person, 100% job success. So all of the jobs that he did, he was 100% successful. He charges around $40 an hour. And if you click on his profile, you're going to be able to see all of the jobs he's done, his reviews, and down here, you're going to be able to see his portfolio. So the jobs that he did in the past, right? Some of them, you can only see, you can already see how much they've earned on the platform. So this guy here has made over $100,000 on this platform. This one, 80K 
dollars on the platform, you know, and so on. And you want to look through these people and you want to create a job description. What do you do to create a job description? You click here, you hover your mouse over jobs, you go to my jobs and then you create post a job. When you post a job, it's going to ask you for some information. You fill this out and then you can invite other freelancers to join your job. If you don't want to invite people one by one, you can just create your post and they will find you by themselves. They will send you messages asking to work with you and then you can browse through which one suits you best and then you can hire them for each project that you make. And the way Upwork works is you pay the platform, your video editor will edit the video for you. And after they're finished, they're gonna send it to you. You're going to analyze the video. If it suits you, you can finish the contract with that person and then you can hire them over and over and over again. And the way it works is post by post. Each video, each job that you make is a different job separated from each other. So they're a freelancer. What you want to say to them when you wanna hire them is you wanna tell them exactly everything. Don't assume that they know what you want in your videos. If you can get like, two, three, four or five videos for them to have as an example of what kind of editing that you want. You just grab those video links and you send it to them, explain to them, I want this in my video. I want to have this kind of animation. I want to have this kind of sound effect, music, transitions. The more information you can get them, the better their editing is going to be. And what you have to understand is when you start working with a certain person, their editing might not suit you 100%, but that's okay because you can work with that person over time and explain to them project by project what you want and keep improving your videos over time. So they don't have to get it perfect the first time, but you need to make sure that they are able to understand what you want and be able to improve your videos and the editing so you can grow your channel as time goes on. Now, for you to send them your videos, this is what you have to do. Go into Google in that same account that you created for your YouTube channel and you're going to create a Google Drive. And the way you create a Google Drive is very simple. You go to drive.google.com and then you join for a Google Drive account. Once you've done that, you will have 15 gigs available for free. And after that, you have to pay, I think, $1.99 a month to Google. But I think that 15 gigs might be enough for you guys. If it's not, then it's just $1.99 after that. And then when you record your video, you can just upload your video to that Google Drive and send the link to your video editor. He is going to do the same to you. He probably has, if he is a good video editor, he probably has his own Google account. He's going to edit the video, repost it to his own Google Drive, and he's going to send it back to you and you can just download it afterwards. So now you might be wondering, how do I get my thumbnails done? How do I do them? I don't even know how to edit a picture. You don't have to. Just go to fiverr.com. This is the website that I go to get uh, thumbnails done because they actually have some pretty good people, some pretty talented people on Fiverr to do photo editing. I really like to do photo editing on this website. The guy that I used to make my thumbnails is this person right here. I always work with this seller here. And what you can do is you can just type in thumbnail editing on the bar here. You also have to create an account on this website. It's pretty easy. It's free. You don't have to pay to create an account. And after that, just type in thumbnail editing on the Fiverr uh, search bar. All you have to do is look for someone that, you, that suits you. I would highly suggest that you go for level two sellers and look for people that have completed multiple jobs and also have five star ratings. And once you're here in this page, you can just browse through see what you want. Don't just go with the first one that you like. Try to find multiple sellers and then you can browse through their past works. You can look at the reviews and after you've done that, you can just choose one that suits you better and start doing your thumbnails with them. All of the sellers in the platform, they're going to charge anywhere from $5 to $20 to do your thumbnails. I personally spend about $15 with each thumbnail that I make for my channel. And I'm pretty happy with that. It's a really good price. One little thing that I forgot to mention here, when you're looking for the video editor, some of them might look very professional. They might look that they're, they know what they're doing, but it is really, really hard to find a good video editor. Always, always ask for a sample video. Even if they say to you, no, I can do this video. They might not have the skills to do it. I, I don't know why they say that. They might just be trying to get the job or something, but always ask them to do a sample video for your own video, because that will show you if they can do the type of editing that you want them to do with your own content. That's going to save you a lot, a lot, a lot of time 
looking for people and possibly even money if you waste money on a person that can't do the job that you're asking them to do. It has happened to me in the past to send someone money and they send me a video and I don't like it. And I was due to post a video on my channel and I had to edit it myself because the editor couldn't do the job and it's very frustrating. So you don't have to go through that yourself. Now, last thing that I want to show you guys, and that is how to automate the posting on your channel. And this is where TubeBuddy comes in. So you go to YouTube channel and you go to manage videos. Once you're in your videos tab, you're going to see something similar to what you're seeing right now on my screen. And what you can do is every time you post a video, let's say this video is unlisted, right? I can go to this sign right here where it's this is the sign for TubeBuddy, the extension. And I can just click this sign right here and it's going to show me a bunch of options. And one of those options is going to be to schedule a publish. There is a way you can do this through the own YouTube, but I like to do it through here because you have more options to choose from. So when I schedule a publish, what I can do is I can set the date. I can set the right exact time for it to be posted. It's going to recommend me when I should post this video, when my audience is going to be most online. If I want to set the privacy to public or unlisted, if I want to add the video to a playlist right after it's posted, which I always do. And if I want to add a comment to the video at the time of publish, if it's going to remind me 24 hours before the date or not, and I can just save and schedule the publish if I want, which I'm not going to do for this video. So I always do this process for all of my videos. Another thing that I do with my videos is every time I post a video, I also change my description. I make the description specific to each video. So I put the, in this case here, this video is a YouTube short. So I add my description. I add the link to the video. In this case, I was doing a copy of someone else's video. So I add the link to his video on the description of the video as well. Always add cards to your video. And what a card is, is when people are watching your video, something like this is going to pop up. I usually add uh, my channel a subscribe click. So if people want to subscribe, they can just click the link and subscribe to the channel. Always had hashtags to your videos. So hashtags are a way for the YouTube algorithm to know who to push your videos to. And I always like to add some, you know, I just come here and write some hashtags that come to my mind that has to do with my videos. And on my other video, how to build a YouTube video, I also show you how you can find hashtags and tags for your videos. You can also use TubeBuddy to do A-B tests for you. And what is an A-B test? A-B test is it's going to test out one thumbnail against the other, one title against the other. You can easily do this using TubeBuddy. You just click the TubeBuddy link a b test after you click that link it's going to take you to this page right here it's going to show the video that you're going to be a b testing on you select uh, metadata in this there are two types of a b tests a metadata test and a thumbnail click through rate test the thumbnail one is going to only change the thumbnail once a day to see which thumbnail is going to perform better in your video and the metadata you can choose everything you can change everything about the video you can try out different titles you can try out different thumbnails different descriptions different tags and hashtags you can change anything that you want so i like to go for this one you can set a number of days for which the test is going to run for or you can run the test until the rate is statistically significant which is the one that i always go for and you can click continue it's going to ask you to put a test thumbnail what is it going to do so if i had a different thumbnail for this video i could just upload my file here it would show them side by side and every day it would switch the thumbnail and see which one performs better and at the end of the 14 days it would give me a graph showing how each one performed against each other so I'm not going to do this for now because I don't have another one. And then it's going to ask you if you want to try different tags. So here are the original tags for this video. And here are the test tags, which I'm not going to switch. But if I were, I could just click here, delete, click here, delete. And let's say I want to add something else, Mr. Reese, right? So I could just put it, as you guys can see, there's already a Mr. Reese here. But if you wanted to change the tags, you can just change it here and then click continue. And then title, if I wanted to try, let's say, in this one, I already have, and I'm, I'm going to do an A-B test. And one of the, thing, the things that I'm going to test is, as you guys can see here, how to get a perfect 850 credit score for free. I'm going to try this, how to get a perfect credit score for free without the number 850 in the title. So if I were to do that, I would just click continue. And then I could even have the option to change the description of the video, which, you know, is kind of crazy. But if you want to see which description is going to perform better um, against each other, you can always do that as well. And after you've filled out all this information, you can just click start test and the A-B test is going to immediately start running or you can have the A-B test 
run on a specific day that you want it to do. Now, that is all I have for you guys in this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to check all the videos out, I'm going to link them in the description. And if you want to get a insider view to build your channel with my help and other deep dive videos in these topics and much, much more, how to drop ship, how to build all kinds of businesses online. I'm going to also leave the link in the description for the course that I'm talking about, which is only 49 bucks a month. If you want to join, I'll be waiting for you inside. And if you want to watch any of the other videos, you can just click here and I'll redirect you to my next video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one. Work hard, play harder.